Hello Glamours and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for my upcoming DIY future videos. For this DIY, I'll be creating a floor of a side table. If you would like to find out what I created, just continue watching. I'll be starting off with poster frame cardboard that I have from a past project and I'll be removing the hanging hooks and saving them for future projects. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms, link below. I cut it into oval shape off camera to have precise cuts and here's the size chart and I cut four. I purchased blocks of styrofoam from my local Home Depot and because this time they didn't have the real thick ones, I will be gluing two together. For the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. Next I'll start applying my hot glue around the edges and in the center and just for FYI I have my glue gun on a low temperature. I'll have a complete list of all items used in the description bar below. To prevent your styrofoam from melting use clear stick recommended to glue styrofoam together. Because my styrofoam was not wide enough I'll be gluing my first cardboard on an angle. I'll be using my knife styrofoam cutter to cut around the edges and the tip does get very hot so please be very careful. I'll be cutting the styrofoam following the outline of my cardboard cutout. Next, I'll be gluing on the second cardboard cutout on the opposite side. And for all DIY requests, follow me on Instagram. Off camera, I repeated all the same steps and I made a second one. And here I'll be gluing both pieces together so I'll have a stronger and thicker foundation. Because these are very thick bases, I add a weight on top until it completely dries. Before I apply my metallic silver spray paint, I like to brush on two coats of white acrylic paint, but this type of brand I do not recommend because it has too much oil for cardboard and I feel like two coats was not enough. Once it was dry, I took it to a well ventilated area and applied two coats of metallic silver. I took my silver marker and I started from the top all the way to the bottom and I created a wave pattern and then I went back up and made another wave pattern going all the way down a quarter inch apart and I only did this on one side. And it looks like I have a wavy rolled. I'll be using clear and blue crushed glass and I'll be applying the clear on one side and the blue on the opposite side. To hold my crushed glass I'll be applying a generous amount of clear glue glue and you guys have seen me use this same technique many a times on my other DIY videos which I'll have linked below and with my experience you can use Mod Podge but the clear school glue dries quicker and stronger. And for extra shimmering, I'll be sprinkling in silver glitter and I'll be repeating the same steps all the way to the bottom.
to hold my blue crush glass, I'll be using blue school glue and this school glue already comes with glitter inside and I use my school glue according to the crush glass color I use. I'll be repeating the same steps with the blue crush glass and if you notice I draw the line so the glue will not spread over. Here you can see the glitter on my brush. Once it was dry, I'll be working on the center. Next, I took a sheet of parchment paper and I placed it on my surface. Next, I'll be making flowers, so I'll be using acrylic diamonds and metallic dessert spoons. All I did was snap off the heads off the stem and I'll be working with the heads only. And to create my flowers, all I did was apply a drop of hot glue, apply the diamond in the center, apply another drop, and start adding my spoons and I'll start from the center facing up going around and I'll continue the same steps until I get the size of flower that I need. Some of you have seen me do this technique on my other DIY projects and I'll have those videos linked below and just remember that the flowers can be made in any shape or sizes that you need. It's all up to you. To apply my flowers, all I did was apply hot glue on the bottom part and start placing them in position and I continued the same steps going all the way on the curvy pattern. Next I took measurements of the sides and cut two poster board strips and then I covered them with mirror reflection paper. Next, I just start gluing them around the edges. Next, I'll be working with two metallic punch bowls and a round foam board that I previously cut and I'll start off with the bottom base and all I did was glue the foam board and the inner part of the punch bowl. Next, I'll be using four round 16 inch cake boards and they are white on one side and I'll be using the first one with the white side facing down and I'll be gluing the first three together. On the fourth board I covered it with mirror reflection paper and then I glued it on and once it was glued on I also covered the edges with mirror reflection paper as well. Next I flipped it onto the back side and took the second punch bow and then I traced it in the center and then I applied hot glue around the edges that are traced and then I glued the punch bow back on. And I'll be using my second punch bow as the table top. And for lighting I'll be using fairy lights and all I did was just intertwine them around each flower. And I glued the battery pack on the back side. And to attach the top and bottom bow all I did was glue it on. And here is the finished look. I really do love the way this table turned out and I love working with crushed glass because it makes everything look beautiful and stunning. With some minor adjustments, this also can be turned into a floor vase. And let's not forget the beautiful shimmering and lighting that will bring into that special room in your home. Here are other two DIYs where I use crushed glass to make beautiful home decor and I have many more DIY videos like this linked below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY as much as I enjoyed creating it. Now don't forget I post new DIY videos every week. Like and share with family and friends and subscribe if you haven't. Comment if you wish. Turn on your notification bell for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.